some reason I don't know my phone ended up like ending the live I I don't know what's going on so anyways if you saw the live that we we're about to do I was talking about quickest ways to apply the polish thank you for everyone who is joining again give me one sec I see that we're still trying to log on Um, oh, yay. Okay, it looks like we have some people joining us again. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm just going to give people a few moments. Um, again, for those of you who missed it, of like what happened, basically, I was trying to fix the orientation of my phone and it kicked me off. So we are back up and it seems like you guys are all here, maybe missing just a few more, but thank you so much. Hey, Alicia, thank you for joining. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, we are going to be doing a quick polish hack. This is the fastest way to apply polish, and so you'll have it stamp ready. I'm sure a lot of you know the agitation and annoyance of painting your nails and then trying to stamp and it's not ready. So I'm going to show you guys how we do this super fast. So before we get into the details, I'm going to show you three different ways to polish your nails. And some of you might already know the trick. So the first way, let me just try and zoom in a little more. Sorry guys, just trying to adjust you, make sure you have a nice view. Okay, so the first way to polish nails is the traditional way. And in case you're wondering, I am using Lilac Clouds, one of my favorite purples. If you've watched our lives, I've painted it a bunch, or used it a bunch. So this is the first way, just applying polish. As we know, as most of you know, this way is probably the longest way to get your nails stamp ready. I'm gonna put that on the side and do the second one. So the other way to apply polish is using a sponge. This is a makeup wedge that we got from like our local drugstore. And I really like this method too. Um, I think part of the reason I like this method is because I can get a nice even coat and this is option two. So for this you might want to go over and do a second coat later which can be kind of annoying so you're gonna have to wait for that to dry a little bit before we go for the second coat. Um, as you can see when I painted it on it was a nice thick coat but now it's gonna take a minute to dry so like this is not ready to stamp on. And the final fastest way. So if you use plate M052, which is what we're going to be using today, I recommend loading it up. I know people are like, why are you wasting so much stamping polish? But we have a whole warehouse full of polish, so we don't have to worry about those details. And also because when you work with this design, it's better to load it than to put less because then you're gonna have to deal with voila then you're gonna have to deal with like annoying things later had like a little spot there and that's done so this is already ready to stamp on that took all of what 10 seconds maybe so it was even quicker than doing this method so if you don't like if you want the opacity to be darker, you can always apply another coat. So traditionally with regular polish, I would apply a second coat for all of this. So for this, I'd apply a second coat. Um, if it's a stamping polish, you usually only need to apply one coat, but we're just gonna pretend and do it the traditional way. So part of the reason why, whoops, that was a little bit thick. Part of the reason why 
I am not a fan of this is because one, we're gonna have to wait forever for it to dry. The second thing that happens when you're applying polish, um, especially if you're applying like a second coat of polish, it actually re-wets the polish layer underneath it. So now instead of like two layers drying or like one layer drying, you kind of are basically having to wait again for the second layer to now dry because both layers are going to be wet and kind of tacky. So we can try sponging again. But the annoying thing about sponging that I don't like is that you have to waste sponges and I just kind of don't like that. So if you've seen my other lives, you'll hear me talk about how um, I'll just like trim off the excess and try to reuse it again. But in general, it just has a tendency to take more product. Um, another thing that I've noticed about when I use sponges is if you don't apply enough polish on the sponge, it just gets all absorbed and that can be kind of irritating. Or if you try to do it too fast or too much while the second, or sorry, while the first layer is still kind of tacky, you'll end up with all these kind of texture marks. You can even see it here. Um, it's just a little annoying. <laughs> Personally, you know, you want your base to be nice and smooth and pretty. Um, it doesn't really matter when you apply top coat, but again, you end up needing to have a makeup wedge near you in order to do this trick. So let's try again with this layer. Uh, if you want, you can just do one coat and be done with it, or you could always go back and do a second coat. So I'm gonna go back and do a second coat. I feel like I should, I should probably clean this. I recommend cleaning our stamps before reusing them. Some stamps you can get away with using multiple times, but for the sake of wanting to have it perfect on our live, I'm just gonna clean it off anyways. So again, I'm going to load up my little design here with lots of polish because I rather have more polish than less. Make sure I clean off my stabber first. Whoops. Okay, let's see. Make sure my stamper's all set in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and really load it. Again, I personally do not have to worry about polish being wasted because we have a whole warehouse full so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply polish liberally everywhere and voila this is already ready to stamp look at that I'm touching it no polish nothing this is from earlier sorry when I was like see I get polish everywhere <laughs> um but I'm pressing down no finger marks no nothing it's already ready to stamp and you can see the difference between the sponged versus the stamped. Do you see how smooth that is? Doesn't it look so pretty? Meanwhile, our original design, which is here, is still wet. Look at that. You can see fingerprints on here. It's not ideal, not ready for stamping. So now's the true test. How long did it take me to apply that base? We're gonna try and do this after. I wanna try applying two of the stamped bases and then we're gonna apply the stamp on after that and we're gonna see about how long it takes me. But for now, I wanna stamp to see which of these three tips is already ready. I am using plate M205 or, oh sorry, M025, yep. It's kind of hard because I'm looking at it upside down. I have fingerprints everywhere too because I've got cuticle oil on my hands, trying to make sure that my nails and cuticles look nice for you in the video. I haven't even done my nails in a while, so I'll have to jump on that after. So. We were able to stamp, luckily. But, oh, you see that? It's still super wet. <laughs> that is not ideal. 
Let's try again with our sponge base. Let's see what that looks like. So if you take a look at our playlists um, on our YouTube channel, we show you other ways to use that French plate and also that uh, negative space design that we're using for the base. Okay. Okay, this is the other one. So again, this is a personal preference, but I don't like how it's super textured here. And you can see it even on the camera. It just it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. And then finally, we are going to stamp our um, stamped base. Let me clean my stamper again. Perfect. Perfect. I can touch it. No finger marks. Nice smooth application. Even application. So for those of you who are struggling with applying polish evenly, the stamped base is the perfect way to get a nice even coat. Let's see, is this still wet? Oh yeah. You see that? I'm touching it and it's still wet. It's already been like several minutes now and you can see that the polish still has not dried. And for those of you who are um, more of heavy-handed stampers like myself, you're gonna have problems probably, you know, nicking the polish. Uh, a lot of times I've like accidentally nicked the polish while I'm stamping because I'm pressing, pressing a little too firmly. So then I get all kinds of little marks when I stamp and that's just not what we want. Okay, so now that we did all of that, I'm gonna try stamping the base on one more time. And this time I'm just going to do it without talking and I'm gonna just try and do it as quick as I can so we can show you guys how quick that whole process can be. So if I get awkwardly silent, you'll know. <laughs> It's because I'm going to try and put all of my uh, energy and into getting this on as quick as possible. Let me make sure my stamper is ready, sitting in the stamper holder nicely, have my desk all set up and clean. Okay. So... Here we go. Everyone wish me luck. <laughs> yes, Aisha, it is faster than gel. That's the first layer. Second layer, here we go. Second layer, done. Now, Let's see if we can stamp this. All right. 
done. How long did that take us? Was that a minute? Was that less than a minute? Maybe I would have been faster <laughs> if the camera was not in my way. You should have seen me. I was like moving my hands everywhere. So that's it. It's done. I can touch it. I'm like pressing down. No fingerprints, no marks. It's ready to go. So if I wanted, I could top coat or do whatever I want. Maniology said it was less than a minute. You see, this is why we like to stamp our base on. <laughs> it's very, very quick, very, very easy. And you could technically do a whole manicure in like maybe 10 minutes, maybe even less, depending what you're doing. So, and let's check back with the original way that people would apply their base. Is it still? Yes, it's still wet. Yep. Yes. Definitely still wet. So this is by far the superior way. Smooth, flawless, dry, like I'm pushing down on here and you can see there are no fingerprints. Yes, the original way still is kind of a tacky mess. This way is not bad, but again, you just have all that like texture. And for those of you who are familiar with applying um, polish on the sponge, it can be tricky. Sometimes you can get weird like lumps and bumps. And also sometimes you can accidentally take polish off if you're not careful. So not bathroom ready wet. <laughs> Aisha, you're right. This is definitely not bathroom ready. This though is... This is bathroom ready. You could go to the bathroom if you needed to, like, after doing your nails, what, like, we did it in maybe less than a minute, and then you could immediately use the bathroom if you needed to. <laughs> um, okay, so everyone's asking about how would you do cuticle cleanup with this? So if you wanted to do cuticle cleanup and you're trying to do a speed cleanup, then you are definitely going to need to use some kind of cuticle tape or our Manny mask or our um, poly peel. So we have like three different options for cuticle cleanup. However, like I wonder, I've never tried this, but maybe we should try this on camera and see what happens because you might be able to apply the polish in a way that is like a U shape. So that way there's little to no cleanup. So let's see what happens if I do that. But if you are using cuticle tape, that to me is one of the quickest ways to get a beautiful manicure without having to do cleanup. So if you can see right now, I'm painting this in a U shape. That's because my cuticle shape here is like a U. So I'm gonna see. Oh, it does work. <gasps> well, hey now, that makes cleanup even easier because you can just, Oops. oh, well. That wasn't perfect because I kind of waited a long time. But look at that. I wouldn't even have to clean up around my cuticle if I didn't want to. Isn't that neat? That's super neat. <laughs> I'm so happy we figured this out together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, wow, why haven't I been doing this forever? That's so funny. Um, yeah, you can paint this in a U shape if you want, and then you're not even gonna have to worry about cleanup at all. That's it, and that's pretty much the end of our live, everyone. Like, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, Aisha, I did not know I could do that either. That was something that we all just learned right here, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm so happy you guys prompted that question because I just found out a super cool hack. <laughs> And now you guys all know too, so you can apply your polish with ease. You don't have to worry. It's bathroom ready. It's It works perfectly, right? I know. Everyone's just like shook. I am shook too. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of scroll through and see. But honestly, I feel like everyone... 
Everyone has been so helpful. I've got the A team here. Tiana's been helping me out today. So I don't know if there's any questions that like I need to answer, but if you have any other questions and we weren't able to answer it, then we will take a look at the comments later and respond. But I'm so happy that I could share this trick with you. That was a lot of fun. Yes, Jilly's Nell says, make sure you give the video a like so others can see this. What's the name of the polishes that I was using? Okay, I was, I am using Whimsy B414, which is a really pretty teal color. And then I'm also using B238 Lilac Clouds. This is one of my favorite colors. I'm always using this color. <laughs> It's just like the perfect purple. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's kind of like a grayish purple. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining the live. Thank you, Aisha. I always enjoy having your company. You've Aisha is always like part of our A team. She's helping everyone. <laughs> we appreciate you. We appreciate all of you. I'm sorry if I didn't shout you out this time, but Again, I am grateful for all of you who do come and help out. Thank you, Tracy. I'll see you guys later. Have an amazing week. Bye.